This uh, word you seem to be throwing around tonight, halcyon, I think golden, idyllic, it makes me feel nostalgic. Is that is that what yeah, you're after here? There you go. Yeah, yeah. it's all that. Yeah. And more. It is more. We'll get to the more part in just a minute, though. But first, I want to show you this time lapse from our sky cam up at Timberline Lives looking south at Mount Jefferson and wildfire smoke. So wildfire fire season, which has been greatly suppressed by the rains of the recent weeks, still going on. You can see the smoke here, mainly from, I think, the Peets Mountain fire and the Lookout fire in Central Oregon. But that's a clear line of smoke uh, drifting from east to west on the north side of Mount Jefferson there. Uh, and it, the lighting got pretty cool as the sun angle dropped a bit. And it was a great sunset tonight, and it will be a great sunset tomorrow. And so we go back to the gold. So, yes, I've been throwing around the term halcyon days because it just so greatly describes the kind of weather we've been having. And to sum it up, it basically means a period of time when storms do not occur, which is certainly what we are in. Um, other definitions also reference, like, happy days of the past. But it all is rooted back in ancient Greek mythology, David. Did you know that? Yeah, when the when the god, one of the gods of the sea, Alcyone, was trying to, and she was like apparently the god of seabirds, trying to make a nest on the beach. And so Aeolus, the god of the winds, calmed the winds and the seas for seven days so that she could lay her eggs on the beach during a period of calm weather. Fascinating. More than you ever wanted to know about that word right there. But there you go. Okay, we made 81 today. Not a record. That's 90 for this date, but still well above the average of 69. We had 80s on the coast. We had 88 in Medford, 79 at Pendleton, 84 in the Dallas. And tomorrow morning clear. And notice the sunrise time at 7.15 as the nights are getting longer. 75 though by noontime, 84 will be our eventual high tomorrow afternoon because there's nothing coming our way. Hence the halcyon reference. No storms approaching us at least until Monday. And when they do, we'll get back into rain at that time as we typically do in the month of October. Now the coast will begin to see a shift as early as Saturday. We won't. We won't really see a change until Sunday night or Monday. But on Saturday, we'll get a wind shift at the beaches, which will allow fog and low clouds to develop northward. That will be... Uh, well, that'll precede the storm that comes in on Monday for rain Monday morning Look for a rainy Monday morning commute rain again on Tuesday showers Wednesday and then looks like we may dry it out as we approach the following weekend, which would be kind of a big deal because that's when that solar eclipse will traverse parts of Oregon. So hopefully this warm dry pattern will reassert itself next week won't be as warm as this week, but the solar eclipse that happens is not a total solar eclipse. It's called an annular because there's a ring of light of the sun around the darkened moon because the moon is too far away from Earth to completely block out the disk of the sun. But it's still really cool and the path goes right across Oregon. In fact, this is the first place in North America that the eclipse makes landfall. Here are some of the towns that will be in the path right through Eugene and Florence and then on down through Central Oregon here before it scoots on down through Nevada, Utah and eventually all the way down to Texas. In Portland right now it is 64 and clear as a bell. It's beautiful outside. It'll be beautiful tomorrow with a high of 84. And that sounds so great. We're going to do it again on Saturday, Sunday near 80 and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're in the 60s. We should be able to climb back up near 70 later next week for the potential for more halcyon days. But the next three look great. I was going to ask you to say the word again, but you just did just beat you to it. Halcyon. Thanks, Matt. Straight ahead Friday.